Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. Welcome to this special episode of Durham TV. I have with me today a guest, a friend, Lucy Danziger, who also is the editor-in-chief of Self Magazine. It's April, it's time to start thinking about getting ready for the summer, and if you want to get a little jump start on looking a little bit better, there's no better way to do it than with a self-tanner treatment. And Lucy has been gracious enough to share with us today her recent experience with self-tanners. Well, as Dr. Schultz says, one of the things that women like is to be a little bronze in anticipation of bathing suit season. So whenever I go to Florida or on spring break, I like to get a spray on tan. This time I got a little too much tan. Now, I believe in the spray tan because for someone who's blonde like me, I don't like to go to the beach and look pale. I do like to have a little bronzing, but Anna, who is brilliant at Rita Hazan, uses a very organic formula and it gets darker overnight. So I woke up this morning with too much tan. So I said to Dr. Schultz, this is a real issue for women. I hear from women who don't want to go to the tanning um, spray on lady. What if I turn orange or they don't want to use a self tanner because they think it'll look fake. There's always that danger. Whenever you change mother nature, you're going to look a little fake. So I said to Dr. Schultz, you know, I want women to get a spray tan or a fake tan. But what do you do if it goes a little orange or a little too brown, which is what happened to me? What do you do? I'm happy to tell you this is an easy fix if your tan becomes a little bit too dark from a self-tanner because the basis of how a self-tanner works is it stains the dead cells on the surface of your skin. And those dead cells with the extra darkening can be removed very easily with exfoliation. The exfoliation, which means taking off the dead cells, can be done either with a granular cleanser or a granular abrasive cleanser, or it can be done with gentle glycolic pads used on a regular basis, or you can even come into a dermatologist's office and have a superficial lunchtime glycolic peel. It doesn't really make your skin peel, but all of these mechanisms will gradually remove that extra darkening and restore a more natural looking color. One thing though that we have to stress, even if you have this tan from a bottle or a spray on, it offers you no protection against ultraviolet light and you still need your same sunscreen with an SPF of between 15 and 30 with UVA protection. So the one thing that Self wants you to know is if you insist on being bronze, make it a fake tan. That is the only safe tan and still use your SPF. Thanks, Dr. Schultz. Lucy, thanks for joining us today. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting DermTV.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.